हेलो एवरी वन हाउ यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर टेकिंग वेरी गुड केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ वेलकम टू एक्सप्लोर मोर एंड लैंड टूडेज वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ अ सीरीज विच इज अबाउट मैनर ऑफ आर्टिकुलेशन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न द वे इंग्लिश स्पीच साउंड आर प्रनाउंसड एंड द वे वी प्रनाउंस क्लियरली इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू टू वॉच दिस सीरीज टूडेज टॉपिक इज मैनर ऑफ आर्टिकुलेशन एंड इट्स अबाउट फ्रिकेटिव साउंडस If you have not watched part one, which is about plosive sounds, then please watch that, and you will get the link in the description box below. I have already discussed manner of articulation in the previous video, but again, I'll tell you in short about manner of articulation. Then, I'll discuss. the way fricative sounds are pronounced all right so manner of articulation means the way speech sounds are created so manner of articulation describes how closely the articulators means organs of speech interact with each other to create a sound you got it so when speech organs interact with each other ear is obstructed and released and a sound is created so organs of speech like lower lip upper lip lower teeth upper teeth various parts of tongue etc when they come close to each other a sound is created air is obstructed and suddenly released this is what the manner of articulation and there are various ways in which sounds are created and about those ways that means about that manner of articulation i am discussing in this series in the previous part i discussed plosive sounds and in this part too i am talking about manner of articulation for fricative sounds so what are fricative sounds like how to pronounce them what's the way First of all you should know about it so fricative sounds are obviously consonants because air is obstructed and released when we pronounce consonant sounds so fricative sounds are also consonant sounds and when we pronounce them flow of air is partially blocked it is not completely blocked it is partially blocked and air is released through a narrow passage and a friction is created so in this way fricative sounds are created as i told you that the air is partially blocked so this partial blockage is created between the two articulators they can be lower lip and upper teeth any part of the tongue and upper teeth or any part of the tongue and teeth ridge etc so in this way partial blockage is between the two articulators and then air is released through a narrow passage and a friction is created and the fricative sound is pronounced or created so what are fricative sounds fricative sounds are v th these are the symbols sound symbols the like in them s, z like in zip sh like in sheep j like in pleasure so these are fricative sounds so as i told you that the partial blockage is created when we pronounce these fricative sounds and the air is released through a narrow passage for example when we pronounce f or v there is a partial blockage between the two articulators that means air is partially blocked it is not completely blocked and that blockage is created between the lower lip 
between the two articulators, the lower lip and the upper teeth. So just pronounce F. You will see your lower lip is touching your upper teeth. Right? When you say V, your lower lip is touching your upper teeth. And you see air pressure is built up and it is partially blocked. When you try to say F or V, like fan, when. So, first air pressure is built up, then the air is partially blocked, and blockage is created between the lower lip and the upper teeth, and then air is released through a narrow passage. F, v, and a friction is created. Right? So, I have given this example for the two sounds F and VA. In this way, the partial blockage is created between the other two articulators and the sounds are created. So, this is the manner of articulation for the fricative sounds. Okay? So, these sounds can either be voiced or voiceless. So, I will tell you which sounds are voiced and which sounds are voiceless. So, F is voiceless. That means when we pronounce this sound, our vocal cords do not vibrate. But, V is voiced sound. So, when you pronounce this sound, your vocal cords vibrate. When, victory, like that. V it is voiceless like think d is voice sound s like in soap is voiceless z like in zip is voiced sh in ship is voiceless but j like in vision is voiced so you got it voiceless when there is no vibration in your vocal cords but voiced when there is a vibration in your vocal cords. So, I have already explained about voiced and voiceless sounds in detail and you can watch that video. You will get the link in the description box below. So, this was about manner of articulation for fricative sounds and I hope you have understood well what is the way to pronounce the fricative sounds right and these are consonants and how is the friction created i have already explained about it so if you have liked this video then please press like and don't forget to share if you are not subscribed to this channel yet then please subscribe by pressing subscribe button below and press the bell icon to get the notification for the next video very soon i'll bring another part of this series till then take care bye bye